15 Best Online Business Ideas ngayong 2022. Ito po si Dr. Iris, CEO ng The Conversion Engine, isang platform, software as service platform na nagsisilbi sa mga kababayan natin at sa iba pang mga tao anywhere in the world para they can bring their services and business online using this digital platform na automated at complete business solution. Ako rin po ay isang medical doctor. I talk a lot about holistic aspect ng wellness. Kasama syempre dyan yung pagla-level up sa pangkabuhayan din natin. So today, I'm going to specifically talk to you about leveling up in abundance, adding an income stream sa inyong existing income stream through putting up an online business. Marami po akong mga free workshops, free programs na maaari po ninyong i-check out after mapanood itong video na ito kasi itong mga programs na ito ay nakakatulong para mag-jumpstart ng inyong journey as an online entrepreneur. Mag-register lamang sa levelupwithdriris.com Piliin yung course, yung workshop, yung training na gusto ninyo and make sure to read your email para sa instructions on how to go about sa mga workshop and programs. So balikan po natin yung usapin ng 15 best online business ideas na pwede ninyong simulan kahit work from home po kayo. So number one, becoming a virtual assistant. Siguro po hindi na ito bago sa inyo, pero kung ngayon nyo lang narinig, a virtual assistant really is an assistant to someone who works remotely, who works digitally. So kahit nasa ibang panig po ng mundo, ang inyong employer, ang inyong client, maari po kayong mag-work for them. Ito yung kagandahan ng industry na ito is wala po talagang barrier yung geography. So kahit nasaan po ang, ang client, kahit ibang time zone, it can certainly work. Ang importante dito ay skill set. So virtual assistant, maraming mga skill set, iba't ibang fields din, iba't ibang mga specializations din ang meron yan. And I do have an offering for this kung gusto lamang ninyong simulan or just jumpstart your journey to get your feet wet, tignan ninyo kung ano mga possibilities. Register po kayo sa virtual assistant program ko para makita kung ano-ano yung iba't ibang mga fields under this category. Number two, online educator, online course creator. Someone offering online classes for an expertise, for a subject na magaling sila. So, nandito na po tayo sa tinatawag na information era. A lot of people turn to the internet to gather more information, to gather more knowledge, to upgrade yung skill set nila. So, kung kayo po ay nagkataong merong skill set, merong pwedeng i-offer, merong kayong expertise, maaari pong gawin itong course these days. Ang kailangan lamang ninyo ay tamang plataforma so that you can house your courses, you can bring awareness sa courses ninyo, you can get your customers to avail of your courses in a seamless way, automated way, para hindi na po mano-mano. And you can reach as many people as possible. And you can certainly, again, break those geographic boundaries. Kahit po kayo nasa Pilipinas or kung kayo man ay nasa ibang bansa, you can have students, you can teach other people kahit saang panig man sila ng mundo. Ang kailangan lang talaga ay tamang plataforma. Again, I have an offering regarding course creator program. Ito ay again libre, so check out lamang po, level up with dryris.com and register. Ikatlong field na pwedeng simulan sa bahay, really low barrier of entry, is affiliate marketing. Anong ibig sabihin nito? Affiliate marketing is a referral marketing uh, type of business kung saan meron kayong mga links na share sa mga maaring social media contacts ninyo, mga kaibigan ninyo. And if they click the link and buy a certain product, then mag-earn kayo ng commission from that. So ito, very low barrier of entry lamang. It's as simple as sharing a link. Again, meron tayong training dito. Just check out yung ating webpage and register sa ating free training. Number four, mahilig ka ba magsulat? Magaling ka ba magsulat? Then you can be a freelance writer. So ito, iba't ibang fields. Depende sa industry, depende sa expertise mo. Maraming nangangailangan nito, madaling maghanap ng trabaho these days kasi a lot of business owners are quite busy but a lot of business owners also need to create yung tinatawag nating content, need to create some kind of authority sa kanilang niche and normally they would hire mga freelance writers. So kung meron kayong expertise in a specific area, maaari po kayong mag-offer ng services ninyo as a freelance writer. Number five, again, patungkol sa pagsusulat. Kung kayo ay mahilig magsulat po, maaari nang gawin ito without needing to get a publisher to publish your work. 
you can certainly create an ebook of your own and maari na ninyo itong i-publish, i-self-publish, maari ninyo itong ibenta, i-offer and hindi na po mahirap, hindi na kailangan ng maraming gastos. It's as simple as writing your content, yung inyong pong expertise kung ano mang area yan and creating an ebook out of it. Meron tayong mga tutorials regarding how to create an ebook using yung uh, software na Canva. So just look for that video natin. Number six, maari din tayong maging tutor online. So kung kayo po ay may skill set din sa pag-tutor, maybe uh, you know, English language, maaring math, kung ano man po ang inyong skill set, maaari din kayong tumulong sa ibang tao to enhance their own skill set by being a tutor online. Ngayon may mga plataforma na tayo where you can communicate with someone, a client, kahit na nasa ibang time zone, nasa ibang lugar sila. The wonders of technology po, ano? Just utilizing your own skill set and you can teach other people to enhance their own skill set. Number seven, ito na uuso sa Pilipinas at sa iba-ibang panig ng mundo, influencer. Being an influencer. Napakarami na nating platforms po. Facebook, nandyan yung YouTube, nandyan yung Instagram, TikTok. So all of these various platforms po can be used sa influencer type of marketing. Influencer type of business kung saan if you happen to have some kind of knowledge or you are an interesting person at kayo ay very creative, then certainly maari po kayo maging influencer by creating content that people will relate to, people will appreciate, and people will want to follow you for. Mar maraming mga iba't ibang pamamaraan gawin ito. Again, iba't ibang fields. Ang kagandahan nito, napaka-flexible. Kahit po anong age group, anong field, kahit taga saan man kayo, you can certainly do this. Ito ay nakadepende sa inyo pong personality, sa inyong talents or skill sets din. Number eight, kung kayo'y magaling magsalita, podcaster. So ito, again, mababa na ang barrier of entry nito. Noong araw, kailangan mo pang mag-audition para ikaw ay makapasok sa radyo. These days, anyone can set up their own podcast. As long as ikaw ay mahiling magsalita, marami kang insights, ma maari kang, marami kang maaaring ishare sa ibang tao, then you can certainly become a podcaster. Just make sure that you are interesting enough para yung mga tao po ay talagang may reason to follow you and you can certainly monetize this over the long term. Number nine, web developer. Kung may, meron kang konting online skills, marunong ka ng mga certain applications, WordPress, yung mga plugins, mga ganyan, maaari po tayong maging web developer. Kung may interest tayo to create websites, to create these di digital assets na tinatawag for other people, for other businesses, then this is something that you can study. Marami na pong courses na available niyan, yung iba libre, yung iba merong payment, but anyone can do it. Anyone can DIY to become a web developer. Next up, kung ikaw ay truly creative, you can be a graphic designer. Again, isa ito sa mga fields na tinatawag nating freelancing kung saan, you know, it's based on your creative skill set. And ito ay maaring i-offer natin na services para sa mga nangangailangan, mga negosyo, mga brands. And this can again be learned from home. This can be offered from home. Very flexible po ito. Number 11, one of my favorites, the coaching industry. Anyone can be a coach as long as sila po ay one step ahead sa mga taong kailangan nila tulungan. So you can be a fitness coach, kung yan ang industry po ninyo. You can be a life coach, you can be a business coach, you can be a career coach. Napakarami pong fields na maaaring mag-coach ang isang tao as long as they have this skill set at may, may offer sila na tulong sa ibang taong gustong makarating din, mag-upgrade ng kanilang skill set din in that same industry. So this can be quite lucrative. Maraming pamamaraan on how to deliver yung coaching Napaka-flexible and certainly isa ito sa mga fastest rising industry ngayon, online business industry. Number 12, kung ikaw ay mahilig sa merchandise, you can be an online seller. So kung bago lang po sa inyo ang konseptong ito, there is such a thing called e-commerce. Ito po yung pagbebenta na online and again, this has many different niche, napakaraming iba't ibang subfields nito, iba't ibang interest. Just make sure that whatever you are selling, you really have a passion for it, talagang alam po ninyo ang field na ito para kayo po ay mag-stand out sa competition. Kailangan pag magtatayo ng e-commerce store, meron tayong tamang plataforma, something that will provide 
seamless experience for the customer, something that automates yung mga prosesong ito. And I'm very happy to share with you na ang aming platform, the Conversion Engine, offers this feature po. So do check us out. Kung kailangan ninyo ng extra training dito, meron akong free workshop. Again, uh, about e-commerce, just register lamang po, levelupwithdriris.com. Next up, kung ayaw ninyo ng headache ng pagsustore, pagsastock ng merchandise, you can be a dropshipper. So, ang industry pong ito ay isang unique industry kung saan you will connect with a direct uh, merchant and you will be kind of the middleman. Ano po? So, you have a connection with the warehouse, the manufacturer, and ikaw, ikaw yung magbibenta ng produkto, and yung customer will go through you, pero hindi mo kailangan mag-stock ng inventory, hindi mo kailangan bumili. What you will do is direct yung order na yun doon sa manufacturer, doon sa pinaka-main source. So, sa kasong ito, wala yung headache ng pagsastock ng inventory, you don't need to shell out that money up front. Uh, ito ay bibilhin mo lamang kapag bumili na po yung customer. So, dropshipping is another viable option that you can start from home and it can be quite lucrative as long as you are really passionate about the product that you're selling. Next up, consulting. So, again, ito ay expertise-based. Uh, the, the way that this is different from a coach is ito po ay usually one-on-one -on -one and specific to an industry. So, kayo ay nagkukonsulta, tinitignan ninyo kung ano yung mga problema, nung industry na yun, nung business na yun, nung tao na yun, and you become a consultant for that client. So, ang pagkakaiba niya sa coach is the coach is helping them to, to meet a goal while usually a consultant is looking at the overall all picture and trying to find solutions sa uh, certain roadblocks na na-experience ng client, trying to guide yung company uh, towards growth, meet certain metrics, meet certain milestones. So, kung kayo po ay expert sa isang particular field, you can certainly consult. Napakalawak, napaka-flexible po nito. Maraming iba't ibang industries kung saan pwede kayo maging consultant for. And last but not the least, social media manager. So, sa mga hil mahilig po dyan, sa social media, gamitin na lang natin ang ating skill para makatulong sa ibang tao, specifically mga businesses. You know, businesses would be willing to pay you for this skill. Not everyone, not every business owner will have the time to manage yung social media. So, kung ito ay strength mo at aral ka ng konti ng skill set, create some processes around it, then you can certainly do social media marketing for other people, social media marketing for businesses. So, ito pong mga 15 online businesses that you can start from home ay low barrier of entry. Ang karamihan, maari talaga nating simulan kahit wala tayo masyadong resources. Kailangan lang talaga for some of them ay skill set, for others naman natututunan siya over time. Ang maganda dito ay pwede siyang i-layer, pwede siyang idagdag sa current income streams natin at certainly scalable, pwede siyang palaguin, it's quite flexible, maaari kayo mag-move from one industry to the next, yan yung kagandahan talaga ng nature ng online business. Marami po kaming tinutulungan sa aming platforma, just check out all our resources, all our free training programs and workshops, levelupwithdriris.com. Level up po tayo lagi, we hope to see you inside. Music